Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Send this text message on to 10 people and you will see the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a dream. Send this WhatsApp message on to five people or to one person and you will have a palace in Jannah. Whoever informs somebody about the coming of such and such a month, then Allah will save him from the fire of hell. What I've given you some examples of are some text messages and some WhatsApp messages that we see flying around nowadays and people spread them like wildfire and they attribute them to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So you'll get a message and it hits your inbox and it will say the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said and then they will have some text and then we find that at the end it will say so spread this and whoever spreads this then he will get such and such a reward or Allah will protect him from such and such a punishment. In reality, my dear brothers and sisters, we have to understand that when we say the Messenger وسلم, said, what we are entering into now is very, very dangerous ground. Very, very dangerous ground. Because although we may intend good and although there is a, a lot of reward from spreading the Messenger وسلم's words and from spreading his Sunnah, we also need to understand that the Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith which is recorded by Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim The Prophet ﷺ said indeed lying upon me is not like lying upon anybody else whoever lies upon me intentionally let him take his seat in the fire of hell so the Messenger السلام, is issuing a very, very clear warning here. If you lie on the Messenger السلام, and you do that knowing that what you are doing, what you are spreading is not authentic, it is not actually traced back to the Messenger السلام, take your seat in the fire of hell. These are very, very serious words from the Messenger and so when we receive these text messages, before we send it on to a single person, we have to know that what we are transmitting is authentic. Because if we go ahead and we carelessly transmit every WhatsApp message, every Facebook message, every text message, every email, everything which supposedly is attributed to the Messenger السلام, we just go and we spread it on, we spread it on, we spread it on and we don't know that it's authentic then we come under the threat of the Messenger السلام, من كذب علي متعمدا فليتبوأ مقعده من النار whoever intentionally lies upon me let him take his seat in the fire of hell so my dear brothers and sisters this is a warning from myself but primarily we warn you with what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam warned you with. Do not lie on the Messenger Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. When that WhatsApp comes to you, when that text message comes to you, first and foremost check, is it authentic? Is it authentic? And if you don't know that it's not authentic, or if you know that it's not authentic, and you send it on, waylak, woe to you, for lying upon the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. Number two, if you don't know, is it authentic or is it not authentic? Ya Ikhwan, my dear brothers and sisters, don't play with the fire of hell. Do not send it on. Unless you are 1000% sure this is authentically attributed to the Prophet ﷺ, do not send it on. If you send it on to one person, and that one person sends it on to 10 people and those 10 people they send it on to a hundred people a thousand people you will be held accountable for every single person who reads that believing that it is attributed to the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam very very serious words of threat from the messenger alayhi salatu salam so the next time that you get a message that says such and such a person when he delivers this he will get 
good uh, glad tidings of Jannah, such and such a person, when he sends this on, then he will be protected from the fire of hell, he will be given a palace in Jannah, etc, etc. My dear brothers and sisters, understand this. If there were authentic words to this type or of this type, which were attributed to the Messenger salam, everybody would be talking about them. If it was from the Sunnah, then the people of the Sunnah would have beaten the rest of the people to it. If it was from the Sunnah, the companions would have beaten the people to it. We would have had a precedence in this action. But what we actually find is that I would say 90-95% of such text messages, of WhatsApp messages, Facebook, social media messages are absolutely fabricated. Lies upon the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Know that if you are transmitting lies upon the Messenger of Allah, you come under the threat of the fire of hell. You are assisting in the destruction of Al-Islam. What is Al-Islam except for the Quran and the Sunnah? What is Islam except for Allah says and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says? What is Islam? If it isn't the Quran and the Sunnah, so if you are fabricating within the Sunnah, then you are assisting the enemies of Al Islam. My dear brothers and sisters, we all intend good. But as the scholars would say, how many a person intends good, but he doesn't attain that goodness? He doesn't attain that goodness. So if you intend good, that's fine. And we thank you for that. But before you start sending things on and you start saying that the Prophet ﷺ said it is obligatory, it is wajib, it is fard upon you to know that what you are transmitting is authentic. And if you don't know whether it is authentic or not, then do not forward it on. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the people of the sunnah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us follow the footsteps of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And I end with just one story or just one situation of the companions comparing them to us. So when the companions heard this narration, مَنْ كَذَبَ عَلَيَّ مُتَعَمِّدًا فَلْيَتَبَوَّأْ مَقْعَدَهُ مِنَ النَّارِ Whoever lies upon me intentionally, let him take his seat in the fire of hell. Do you know some of the senior companions, they would narrate just a few ahadith and they knew much more than this, but they narrated just a few because they were scared. What if I say something and the Prophet ﷺ never said it? What if I insert or I forgetfully add something that the Messenger of Allah did not add? And so out of that fear, out of the fear of that hadith which they heard, whoever lies upon me, let him take his seat in the fire, they held back from freely narrating a hadith. What about us, subhanAllah? How far are we from their example? We don't even check, we don't even know, and we just go and send it on to all of the people in our contacts list. This is not the way of the Muslim. So my dear brothers and sisters, fear Allah with regards to the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Fear, fear Allah with regards to the Sunnah, fear Allah with regards to speaking without knowledge. Ultimately, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Most High, He knows best. We ask Allah to send His peace and salutations on our Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.